Question six, the shop sells batteries in packs of four and packs of two. So a pack of four is £1.48, a pack of two is 85p. Simon and Nick want two batteries each. They buy a pack of four and share the cost equally. How much does each person pay? Well, a pack of four is £1.48 and they're going to share it equally between two people. So it's £1.48 divided by two. Easiest way to do this is by partitioning. So half of £1 is 50p, half of 48p is 24p. So add the two together and you'll get the price that they pay each. 50p and 24p is 74p. If you couldn't do that in your head, you could have just, just done a quick column method. 0 and 4 is 4, 5 and 2 is 7, so it's 74p each. Now let's scroll down for the second part of the question. So we've got Mary buys two packs of two batteries. Well, let's see what that is. Two batteries is 85 pence, so she's buying two packs. So she's buying two of those. So two packs of two batteries is two lots of 85 pence. Hamid buys one pack of four. So he's buying, paying one lot of £1.48. So he's buying one pack of those. So Mary's got two lots of 85p. Hamid's got one lot of £1.48. How much more does Mary pay than Hamid? Well, first thing to do is work out Mary's cost. So let's write Mary here. She's getting two lots of 85p, and that's what she needs to pay. So it's 85 times by two. Two lots of five is 10, carry the one. Two lots of eight is 16, plus that one is 17. Put your seven in, carry your one, but because we've got no more columns left, the one can just go straight in. So she is paying 170 pence. Remember, 170 pence is another way of saying £1.70. Hamid is paying £1.48. So Hamid is £1.48. So we need to now figure out the difference between £1.70 and £1.48. And the way to do that is to do a subtraction method. So, how much more, much more is going to be the difference between these two numbers? So it's £1.70, subtract £1.48, and the answer will be our final answer that goes in this box. Zero take away eight we can't do, so borrow one, this makes ten. Ten take away eight is two, six take away four is two, and one take away one is zero. Pop your decimal point in, pop your pound sign in, so it's 22 pence. Now there are no actual units given in this answer box, so that means they are given us some choice here. So we could put 22 pence as 0.22 pounds, or we could also put 22 pence like that. Either of those two answers are acceptable.